Good morning friends. Welcome back to Panika Tutorials. In the last few videos, I have discussed how to use the simple if then if else in Python. I hope you have watched those videos. If you did not watch those videos or if you don't know those concepts, I request you to go back and watch those videos and come back to this video. In this video, I want to discuss about else if ladder in detail for you. So I request everyone to watch the complete video for better understanding. First, let me draw the flowchart for the else if. Now, we will have a test expression. Okay. Now, we know that the test expression can be a true or it can be a false. Okay. If the test expression is true, then I want to execute the if block statements. Okay, if the condition is false, if the condition is false, I want to verify another condition. Okay, then I will use another test expression. Okay, if it is true, if this test expression is true, okay, you want to execute some statements. Okay, let's take that else if one statements is it clear are you able to understand now let's take that even if this condition is also can be false because any test expression can be either true or false if you look at this test expression one if it is true you are executing this block if it is false you are checking another condition if this condition is true you will execute these statements if this condition is false again you want to verify another test expression or the another test condition is it clear if it is true okay you want to execute some other statements let's take the statements something if this condition is false you will execute some other statements so like this if you want to do then you can use the else if ladder now let's take that these are the sum statements okay is it clear now after executing this one after executing this one or let me draw like this after executing this one this one this one this one any one of them you will execute some other statements which are outside the else if block okay so this is the flow chart for the else if ladder it is very simple let's let me take a simple example for you you went to the college after coming from the college your home is locked okay with some lock it was locked then you know that whenever the home is locked your parents would have given the keys to the neighbor so obviously you will go to the neighbors and you will ask them whether my family members have given the keys or not Let's take that your family members have given the keys to them. They have given a bunch of keys. Means your all the keys of your home are there in the bunch of keys. You don't know which is the correct key to open this lock. Then let's take that there are some 10 keys are there in that bunch. Then what you will do, you will first take the key one and try to open the lock. If the lock is open, then you will enter into the home and you will enjoy let's take that using the key when the lock is not open then what you will do you will take the key to again you will try to open the lock with this key to again it can be opened or it cannot be opened if it is open then you will go to the home else you will try to open the lock with the key three. like that you will do so if that condition one is true you are doing something if the condition is false, you are verifying another condition. If it is true, you are executing these statements. Else, you are again checking another condition. Again, if this condition is true, you are executing these statements. False, you are executing these statements. Like this, you can use the else if ladder to execute the statements. I hope it is clear for you the working flow of else if. Okay. Now, let me discuss the syntax for using the if else if else in python now 
let me write the syntax the syntax is very simple you have to use the if and then you will have the test expression where if is the keyword okay then you will use the column then what are the statements you want to write within this if block you will write suppose let's take that statement 1 statement 2 statement 3 you need to follow the indentation then if this test expression is false let me keep this one as test expression 1 okay then I want to check the test expression 2 so to do that one I will use the else if. we will write it as elif okay text expression 2 this test expression can be either true or it can be false if it is true you want to execute statement 4 statement 5 statement 6 okay even if this test expression is also false then you want to verify another text expression then you will write elf else if text expression okay or condition then even if this condition can be either true or false if it is true you want to execute statement 8 statement 10 statement 9 like this if this is also false okay you will use the else block okay then statement 10 okay else then indentation you will do it will come statement 10 statement 11 like this okay then let's take that you have statement 12 so look at here if this condition is true text, test expression 1 is true if it is true statement 1 statement 2 statement 3 will be printed and then statement 12 will be executed is it clear if it is false then it will verify test expression 2 if the test expression true is true then statement 4 5 6 and statement 12 will be executed if it is false then test expression 3 will be verified or evaluated okay test expression 3 will be evaluated and then it can be either true or it can be false if it is true statement 8 statement 9 and statement 12 will be executed if it is false then statement 10 11 and 12 will be executed so this is the way we can use the else if ladder now let me discuss a simple program for you for better understanding now let me write a program for you i will read the input from the user to read the input from the user i will use the input function in the input function i will write enter number okay is it clear then input function will return the value in the string format but i want to convert into an integer so that's why i'm using a keyword called int okay is it clear now whatever the value user has entered will be stored in a variable called n now i want to verify if n is less than zero is it clear meaning is that if the given input number is less than zero what is the meaning it is a negative number so i will print negative number then else if okay elif okay i want to check another condition the given number is equal to equal to zero or not i am verifying if it is equal to zero then i want to print zero okay else if it is not a negative number if it is not equal to zero then obviously it is a positive number okay i have to use the set column then indentation print okay positive number is it clear 
after that i want to print see it this print is not belongs to this else block so that's why after the indentation i'm entering the backsplash so i'm getting here which is okay then print good luck are end of the program something you want to execute okay so now let's take that if user has entered the n value is equal to 5 then what is the output will be printed 5 is not less than 0 5 is not equal to 0 okay then it will print pause to number and good luck for you if user has entered the n value is equal to 0 then 0 is not less than 0 this condition is false but 0 is equal to 0 so this condition is true so 0 as an output and good luck will be printed so if it is a negative number minus 5 minus 5 is less than 0 yes this condition is true so you will get the output as negative good luck i hope you have understood how this program is working now let me discuss the same program in the jupyter notebook for better understanding now let me write a program to demonstrate in the jupyter notebook so what i want to do is that i want to read an input from the user and i want to verify whether it is a positive number or equal to zero or negative number using the else if ladder so i want to read the input from the user i will use the variable n any variable name you can use for my convenience i am using the variable name as n and whenever you want to read the input we need to use the function called input the input function will return an string however i want to convert an integer so i am doing the type casting then i want to verify if the number is less than 0 so if n is less than 0 then what is the meaning if any number is less than 0 then it is a negative number so what are the statements i want to execute inside the if block i need to write here so negative number then i want to execute one more statement which is print pernica tutorials these are the two statements i want to execute then I want to verify one more condition whether given number is equal to 0 or not. To do that one, I need to use the else if. So let me enter the backspace, then cursor will go there. Let me write else if and then I can write the condition n is equal to is equal to 0. If n is equal to is equal to 0, what are the statements I want to execute? I will write here. So the indentation is started so let me write print 0 and one more statement i want to execute print like share okay these are the two statements i want to execute if the n value is equal to 0 otherwise i want to execute other statements so i will write else column and i will press the enter indentation will start the indentation will help you to distinguish what are the statements you want to execute if the condition is true else what are the statements you want to execute so let me write if it is not a negative number not equal to zero then it will be a positive number and i want to execute one more statement print subscribe Okay. Now I want to execute one more statement whether the condition is true or else if condition is true or else I want to write all the best. Okay. So even if n is less than 0 these two statements will be executed and then all the best will be executed. If n value is equal to 0 these two statements will be executed and all the best will be printed yes these two statements will be executed then all the best will be printed now let me run this code and show the output for you let me enter the negative number which is minus one then minus one is less than zero so if condition is true then we will get an output as negative number pernica tutorials all the best now let me run the code again and this time let me give the input is equal to zero 
So, 0 is less than 0, the condition is false. Then it will go to the else if and it will verify this condition. n value is 0. 0 is equal to 0. Yes, the condition is true. As this condition is true, these two statements will be executed. 0, like, share, and then it will come out from the else if and it will print the all the best. You can look at it. We got the output 0, like, share, all the best. Now, let me run the code again. This time, let me give a positive number, which is 5. Now, 5 is less than 0. The condition is false. Then it will come to the else if. 5 is equal to 0. Again, the condition is false. Then, else block will be executed. So, it will print positive number, subscribe, all the best. I hope you have understood how to use the else if. If you still have any doubts related to this concept, feel free to ask me in the comment section. I will try to clear your doubts as early as possible. Thank you for watching the complete video. Have a nice day.